Okay, here we go with ratios. So we're going to take what we know about simplifying fractions and what we know about fractions, and we're going to put it all together and start talking about some sort of simple type of word problems with it. Don't be afraid. Word problems are okay. We're not getting into words quite yet. We're going to do it with pictures. So a ratio is similar to a fraction because it's a comparison of two things. But with a fraction, you're doing a part to whole relationship like we were doing with the whole bar versus the shaded part. Whereas a ratio, sometimes you could do the shaded part to the unshaded part or the whole bar to the shaded part of the bar. So it's not necessarily always going to be that part to whole relationship. There are three different ways to write a ratio. You use a colon, which is those two dots. You can use a fraction, so a numerator and denominator, or the word two. All three of them, even if the, the problem's written, all mean the same thing, okay? And remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can use those speed settings that are in the video. You can also pause me, copy everything down that I have, and then just listen to me talk and fill in the little bit that I have left to do. Okay, so those, that's our basic notes for ratios. Now, I've run out of room at the bottom of my page, but I'm gonna turn my page so that you can see what you should write at the bottom of yours. So let's practice comparing sets using ratios. And I want you to write a note here that we are always going to simplify. So use those simplification rules that we've already learned. Are they even? Do they end in five or zero? Do, are they, did they end in zero? Are they doubles? Did you try evil three? You need to make sure you try all of those and look at your multiplication chart to make sure there's no factors that can simplify the fractions. Okay, so we have two sets here. We have set number one and then we have set number two. Now in set number one, we have those stars and we have triangles. And in set number two, we have squares and we have circles. And the first example we're gonna do is we're going to create a ratio comparing stars to circles. And in ratios, order is so important because if stars come first, that means stars has to be in the numerator and squares has to be in the denominator. They have to be in the right order. If they're not in the right order, you're going to get it wrong. All right, so let's look at our stars. Well, we know there are one, two, three, four, five, six stars. So there's going to be six stars to one, two squares. So it is a six to two relationship. Now we need to simplify. Remember, always, always, always going to simplify. Go down your simplification rules. Is it even? Bingo, both are even numbers, so we're going to divide them by two. So our new simplified fraction is three to one. Now remember, there are three ways to write a ratio. So we can use the colon, the fraction, which is what we already have written, and the word two. So let's rewrite this ratio of three to one with the other two forms. Three to one is the fraction, I can write three colon one with a colon, or I can write three to one is the ratio. Now what that means is, is for every three stars, there is one square. So if you were to sort, sort them out and pass out those stars and those squares, everybody would get three stars and each person would only have one square. That would be the, e the the only even way to distribute all of those pieces. Okay, let's look at the next example. Circles to stars. Well, because circles comes first, circles has to go on the top and stars are going to go on the bottom. There are four circles to six stars. Now I have to ask myself that question because I need to simplify. Start at the top of your rules. Are they even? Yes, they are. Four and six are both even numbers. Now remember, you can always try that big brother four and see if you can simplify. But in this case, four doesn't divide both four and six. 
So I can only use two in this case. Divide by two, divide by two. I'm four divided by two is two. Six divided by two gives me three. So I have a two to three relationship. So for every two circles that I give to somebody, I have to give them three stars to separate that out. I can also write it as two colon three or two, two, three. And that is the three ways to write a ratio. So underneath this, I want you to do a U try. And you're going to have two problems to do. So number three for you is going to be triangles to stars. And number four for you is going to be circles to squares. So if we look at number three, triangles to stars, there are triangles first. So I'm going to put that on the top. Stars go on the bottom. So triangles, there are three. Stars, there are six. I have to ask myself, does it simplify? It does. I can divide by three. If you don't believe me, look across the three row on your multiplication chart. Three and six are both there, I promise. Three divided by three is one. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Simplified fraction is a half. Now, make sure that you write it all three ways just so you can practice. 1 colon 2 and 1 2 2. Do yourself a favor. Circle your answer. Now, for number 4, circles came first. Squares came second. So circles go on the top. Squares go on the bottom. Circles are 4. Squares are 2. Does it simplify? Yes. By two. They're even. Four divided by two is two. Two divided by two is one. Two to one. Okay. Two colon one. Two, two, one. Those all mean the same relationship. All right. Now, last thing that we need to talk about is there are four different types of ratio relationships. Okay, so we just set up all those fractions to review how do we actually look at ratios and determine what they're talking about. But we need to talk about the four different types of relationships. So there's parts of, we have two different sets, and if you need to pause me to write down your notes, pause me, and then we'll come back together and discuss. But if you look at these notes, I wrote you two different sets. We have set one that has X's and circles, and then we have set two that has triangles and the shaded circles. So I'm gonna look at our first ratio relationship type. It's a part to part same set. And when I say part, that means I'm looking at either the X's or I'm looking at the circles. I'm not gonna look at them as a as a whole group. So I'm looking at part of a set within the same set. Okay, so part of a set to part of a set, but I can't leave that set. So an example of this would be X's to circles because they are within the same set and it's the part, which is the X's, versus the other part, which is the circles. I didn't leave the set. So X's to circles would be three to four. It doesn't simplify, so it'd be three colon four and three to four. Okay, so that's part to part same set. Now the next ratio relationship we have is part to part different set. So we're not going to stay within that single set like we did in the first example. We need to be in two separate groups. So an example of that would be X's to triangles. I'm taking part of the set one and part of set two. X's came first, so it's gonna go on top. Triangles came second, so that's gonna go on the bottom. So that's three to two, no simplifying required. Three colon two, three, two, two. So 
there's your example for part to part different set. Some of it is in set one versus the other part that's in set two. Okay, next one is part to whole. And that's like your basic fraction that we've been doing um, for this last little bit. So part to whole, an example of that would be circles to all in set one. So circles to all in set one. And we're gonna call this part to whole, and this we're gonna put same set in here. Because we're not gonna compare the part of set one to the whole, the all of set two. We're just gonna do part to whole same set. So circles to all in set one. So circles come first and all is second. There are four circles. Now when I say all, I have to include those circles because they're not just there, they're part of the entire set. They're all there. So if I count them up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And four sevenths does not simplify. So it's going to be three, I'm sorry, not three. Four, two, seven with a colon. So four colon seven and four two seven. So there's an example of part to whole same set or just part to whole. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is whole to whole. So a whole set to whole set. So an example of that would be all set one. Actually, I'm gonna make it set two. All set two, we'll put it in backwards order. To all set one. So we're comparing all of one to all of, ugh, goodness gracious, all of two, because set two comes first, to all of one. So all of them in set two, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven over, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now sevens, even though it's not a rule, we can simplify that. Divide by seven, divide by seven. That means I get a one to one ratio. So for every one piece I have in set two, I have to give somebody one from set one. And everybody will only get one from each set. So we have one colon one and one, two, one. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed ratios.